Well, I'm back with part two. Uh, this is going to be six through ten of the uh, tips that I gave on the last video. So today we're going to talk about ha number six, have no regrets. Number seven, radical acceptance. Number eight, going through the hurt in a safe space. Number nine, focus on yourself and get busy. And number 10, don't hold grudges. All right, so let's get straight to it. Number six, having no regrets. That means, you know, any and everything that you guys did together, where, whether it be something financial that you did for him or her, um, your partner, just don't regret it. Don't look back at it and say, I wish I never did that. You have to remember that we always do the things that we want to do in the moment that we did it because we wanted to do it. And look at it as a lesson that you learned, not something that you lost. I know a lot of times when relationships end, people feel like, oh my gosh, I failed. I failed at it. You know, everybody was watching us and everyone said we were such a good couple and all of those kinds of things. Um, and then it's like, oh my God, I'm going to be embarrassed now on Facebook and Instagram and everyone's going to know that it didn't work out. Don't worry about any of those things because at the end of the day, you need to be concerned with you. And as I've mentioned before, someone else's opinion of you is none of your business. Um, I would say, though, for those of you who are still quite sensitive, perhaps when you get into a relationship, you may not want to broadcast that. You may not want to put it on um, social media. Personally, I didn't put my relationship on social media. And he and I were together for about a year and a half on and off. I knew that I wanted to solidify things and I wanted everything to be a way that I felt comfortable enough. And of course, he felt the same way. So um, we were in agreement with that. Number seven, radical acceptance. Radical acceptance is when you can completely accept something in its totality. Um, you know, I'll give an example. I think a lot of times when people pass away, the first couple of days, first couple of months, even for some people, they, they cannot believe it. And they refuse to let their mind believe that this thing has happened. So when you radically accept something at that point, you no longer allow it to get you down, to get you upset, um, and to make you feel any kind of a way because you radically accepted it. So, you know, believe them if they say it's over and you may end up getting back together. You never know. But my, my suggestion would be if they say that they want to be done, believe them and accept that and try your best to move on with your life. Don't hold on to things. Don't drag things out. Just say, okay, all right. And I've also learned that when you do that, the other person sometimes does come back and they want to be with you because they're sitting around like, I cannot believe they haven't even hit me up. I thought they loved me more than this. Wow. And then they, you know, try to get some attention from you. They'll text you or call you or, you know, do something to try and get your attention. Um, but again, uh, when you radically accept something, you accept it completely. That is what allows you to be free. It allows you to have peace in your heart. It allows you to be the best that you can be um, and just, you know, not walk away with any hate in your heart or anger or anything like that. Number eight, go through the hurt in a safe space. Acknowledge the fact that you are hurting. I always say, as I mentioned in my other videos, when something negative happens or something that maybe I didn't want to happen happens, I end the saying with, and that's okay. So, hey, he and I broke up and that's okay. You know, it, it just, it really makes things feel like they really are okay because they are. Um, so yeah, so remember the good times slash fun times and smile on them and move on. It's okay to let a memory come and cross your mind and say, wow, that was nice. That was a really good day. That, that was really maybe one of the best days of my life. 
And since that happened, that means other best days of my life or life can happen for me. So keep, keep yourself positive. Focus on what's right. Don't think about and don't focus on the things that you feel like that are wrong or negative, specifically that are negative. You want to acknowledge that you're hurt. You don't want to push the feelings away. You want to just sit in that and remind yourself, this is normal. This is logical that I would be heartbroken and that I would be sad because I spent so much of my time with this person and I devoted so much effort into um, creating uh, a quality relationship or creating a bond that I thought would possibly um, lead to marriage, you know, if you're at that point in your life where you do want to get married. So when you're acknowledging your feelings, that again allows for you to feel like, hey, it, it, I'm going to be okay and, and everything's okay. You're going to have low days and you're going to have high days. And the days that you have your low days, do not give yourself a hard time about it. Um, I would suggest if you have friends that are willing to listen, uh, to vent to them. And as I always mention to you guys, the number one thing, what's most important, if you feel like you need some help, you need to get yourself a therapist. Um, you know, I know that I give great advice and sometimes possibly life-changing advice. Um, these are great tips, right? However, a therapist can really walk you through and guide you through your life and help you in a way that my advice and sometimes friends advice cannot do so uh, as i always mention i'm giving you my opinion on my life and what has worked for me and again i think that personally everyone should see a therapist at least once to see if if you feel that you could benefit from that um i love my therapist i'm making such great strides in my personal journey and um she enjoys being part of my journey and I'm, I'm happy to know that and happy to share that. So I just want to make sure that that's clear. Papito has joined us. Hi, boo -boos. Hi. <laughs> you knew at some point he was going to have to join us, right? I, papi, no. No haga eso. That's right. Be a good boy and sit there. Now, number nine. Focus on yourself and get busy. Boy, oh boy, getting busy has been the best thing that I have decided to do. And I can say this as well. Um, me being busy is like me doing these videos. This takes uh, quite a bit of time with the editing and getting the lighting right and, you know, looking into purchasing different cameras and stuff like that, writing my two books, um, spending time with friends, uh, walking, doing all kinds of things. Um, it is super, super important because when you do the things that you didn't have, that you didn't have time to do in the relationship, it makes you feel definitely better about the situation. It makes you feel like, wow, I kind of missed out on this. And that again is re getting to know yourself. Okay. So we, we want to continue to evolve like humans do. All right. Number 10, which is the final tip for this video, don't hold a grudge. It will hurt you more than it will hurt them. Because while you're sitting here, you know, with all this negativity and hate in your heart, they have moved on with their little life. They're out there having fun with their friends, out there possibly going on dates. They're doing whatever it is that they want to do. And you should be doing the same thing. Um, it, it, is, it doesn't help us to sit around angry with people. It's not helpful to, as I mentioned before, write things on Facebook that are hurtful to the other person because in the end, you're only hurting yourself. And you deserve better than that. You need to remember what you deserve, okay? You need to focus on the things that serve you, not the things that hurt you. You do not want to keep living in the past. When we live in the past, it keeps us stuck absolutely stuck why would you want to do that it's like re having the same nightmare over and over and over again it's self-sabotage and that's abuse as i mentioned in the other video it is abuse 
just don't do it. Live your best life. Be good to yourself. Be kind to yourself. Love on yourself the way that you want someone to love you. Once you do that, oh my goodness, the whole world can see that. And that's what attracts the world to you. It happens to me all the time. I, I go out and I don't even necessarily talk to people, but they're drawn to my light and they're drawn to my glow. <laughs> um, genuine happiness. That's, that's what it is. I'm genuinely happy. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Come back for part three and that'll be up next week. Have a good rest of your day and take care of yourselves.